All right, so I have a huge box here today. I mean, it's one of the biggest I've ever had on this table before. It has a familiar name, it's called the Diamond Box. Now, if you've been around the channel for a little while, you know I've looked at products from this company in the past. As impressed as I've been, they themselves were apparently not impressed because they went back to the drawing board and made something even larger, even more insane than the previous versions that I've looked at. This is the new one, the XL. I mean, at this size, my expectations are elevated to say the least. So let's get into this box, get it out of all this packaging and see just how huge it actually is. <laughs> what? Look at this. Holy. Are you seeing this right now? So the original diamond box, it had a couple of woofers on it. This thing takes it to another level. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six woofers, two base ports, and look at all those tweeters on the top. Now this thing is heavy, although I'm sure you expected that. On the back of the unit here is where your inputs are. You have input for power. You also have an audio input and an audio output. So the reason for that is because you can daisy chain these together if you want to get even crazier. Now those are just the analog inputs. Chances are you're going to use wireless with this. You're going to use the Bluetooth, I assume. But there's also an auxiliary in for a mini jack. Power switch, the volume knob. This USB power here could be used to keep your mobile device charged. So when it's spitting out those Bluetooth tunes, it's not going dead. And just like the other Diamond Box products, Products, you have an actual CZ diamond in there near the volume knob. The other things included in the box are this power brick, mini jack cable to go with the analog signal, and an extension power cord. After a full recharge, the Diamond Box Model XL will play five to 30 hours. It is a 560 watt RMS speaker, 960 watts max, class AB 12 channel high fidelity amplifier in a bi-amped arrangement with active crossovers. Okay, cool. Now, I don't think we're gonna have to plug it in because it probably has some juice to it. How can this not be loud? Look at it. I mean, it's gonna clip the microphone for sure. Here we go, let's just wait a minute here. I just, I just turn it up a little bit. I gotta see where we're at with the, when the drums come and whatnot. I mean, that's, that's, I'm sitting behind it, like to the side of it. That's filling up the whole, the whole space. It might be louder than one of those DVLA Phantoms. I don't know though. I'm just saying, I mean, the form factor is obviously bigger. But my goodness, if you get this on location, people's minds, they can say goodbye to those minds. Let's try something else, okay? The low end is thick. Yeah, there's certain things you can't replace. Big sound is one of those things. I can't tell you what will happen if you bring this to your next party, but I can tell you it will be a better party. You don't have to worry any longer about what type of sound system you might bump into when you arrive. Is it that puny little Bluetooth speaker? Is it some old fashioned stereo system that you can't interface with with your collection of music? Don't be concerned about that. Stick this thing in the truck, you show up, you're the bell of the ball. What more do you want, man? What more do you want? What more do you want? All right, so now it's time for the brand new segment, questions and answers.
answers featuring me and you. You left a bunch of questions, so I'm gonna do like I did at the end of last video and answer three of them. It's what the people want. Here is a question that has 57 thumbs up. Hey, what do you do with the products, gadgets, after you're done unboxing them? Do you collect those things? It sounds weird to say this, but it is kind of a nightmare because there is so much stuff that comes here that, that we can't even possibly get to. Some stuff that's still sitting in the box. We got shelves full of stuff over there. It's actually kind of insane. We keep it around for a little while. One of the ways that I get rid of stuff is, of course, friends and family, right? They come through, they, they treat this place like a Best Buy. I'm telling you, the friends and family of Unbox Therapy, they're outfitted. Who is Jack? Good luck with that one. Nice try. Hey, what should I wait for? The iMac Pro or the Mac Pro for my 8K raw footage? First of all, 8K raw footage, you sound like you're doing well, sir. I asked some people and they said I should go the MacBook route. Well, I will say I've had the Mac Pro, I've had the iMac in the past, not obviously not the iMac Pro. I had I have a crazy Mac Pro that's kind of collecting dust right now. The 12 core version, which originally I think it costs like 10 grand or something. But it's going unused right now because I'm mostly working off of the MacBook Pro. It's practically as fast in Final Cut Pro, plus I can take it with me. I'd have to agree with what other people have told you. If you go with the MacBook Pro, you might be surprised at how well it can handle high res files in Final Cut. Ooh, here's a good one. How many phones have you broke? You're probably not gonna believe this. I have never broken a phone or smashed a screen on a phone without it being done intentionally. In other words, some sort of durability test, the iPhone bend test and so on, obviously devices broke there. But in my personal life, I've never dropped the phone and smashed the screen. I never dropped the phone in the toilet. I never, I never dropped the phone in a pool or a lake. I have never destroyed a smartphone. I've gotten like nicks on the side. I gotten scratches on it, certainly. But no, I've never destroyed a phone. Actually, let me know in the comments if there's anybody else who has never destroyed a phone. I wanna know. So there you go, three questions answered at the end of the video. I'm gonna do it again on the next video because this is fun. So leave your questions in the comments section of this video right here. And who knows, you may make it into the next episode. This episode of Unbox Therapy has been brought to you by Blue Apron. These are the guys that send you a box in the mail, much like this one, with fresh ingredients so you can cook your own meal, but those Ingredients are put together to a chef's plan. You get a whole recipe inside, so you're, you're making chef quality meals yourself. Now when this box shows up at your front door, it's also refrigerated, so you don't need to worry about it. You just, you pick it up, you bring it inside, and you, you get to cooking. You can get a couple of different plans. There's a two person plan or a family plan, so your meals are coming in, they're fresh, they're healthy, and you can, you can get rid of all that fast food that you're eating, and you can actually cook a healthy meal. Now they offer up a big selection of different meals so you're always trying something fresh and new. Maybe you're jumping into some ingredients you wouldn't have purchased yourself and now they can become some of your favorites. Who knows? You, you, I might help you get healthy through Blue Apron. So they've got a special deal for Unbox Therapy viewers. The first 300 people to sign up and try it out are gonna get three meals for free. That's right, we're talking about free food, fresh, free food, just head down to the description. There's a link down there. Use that link and get some get some meals on me and Blue Apron, of course.